Aaron Dykes here for NutritionalAnarchy.com and I'm about to do a big super juice with cucumbers and celery and kale and I'm just going to add dandelions because they're really good for detoxification. Maybe they grow in your yard, maybe you could use them if there's not too much pesticide. But I wanted to talk about community supported agriculture. Community supported agriculture. Community supported agriculture. Because we just signed up for a vegetable share where you pay a weekly amount. I think we pay 25 bucks a week. And you get a whole box full of vegetables. We're in our second week now. It's been great because I'm just eating more vegetables than I did before. And this week we got dandelion roots, all from this Johnson's backyard. They do certified organic right here in Austin. And you can pick it up at like 30 different locations. That's dandelions. This is a red lettuce. Down here we've got a whole bunch of other stuff. They're really well known for their carrots because they're delicious. They kind of look like baby carrots. Much more flavorful than even the organic stuff you get. They grow really nice beets with big tops. I also cook the beet tops. Use a lot of beets and juicing especially. And these were my favorite so far of the whole community supported agriculture. Spring onions. I think these are the white. They also have a yellow variety. And the tops are kind of like chives. I use them in a lot of cooking. And these are real good at the base of stir fry dishes and uh, egg recipes. This one was new to me. Came last week. It's celery root. It's packed full of vitamins. It looks very bizarre, almost alien. Wasn't something I'd eaten before, but because of the vegetable share, I've now tried it. Put that in with some of the juicing. But wait, there's more. Fresh broccoli, spinach, and kale. All certified organic. Anyway, maybe there's pros and cons, but we know the problems with large-scale agriculture, all the pesticides they use, so hard to find organic, and then the company's so gigantic they're not accountable for. This company probably isn't perfect, but at least they're local, and when people buy community-supported agriculture shares, they have a, a predictable revenue base they can produce for people in the community. You can support the farmer and local agriculture in general that way, and you get a surprise every week of more and more fresh produce. You can learn to cook it, juice it, prepare salads with it. You'll probably be eating better from it. Uh, so far, I love it. I'll let you know what the cons are later.